Hey, you all know that I am Aurora Day, and this is the Secured Entrepreneur Movement, the female edition. Now, today's topic is a little touchy. It is for the ladies, but hey, if you gentlemen want to chime in, feel free. <laughs> I'm going to answer Francesca's question. And once again, you know that I am very grateful for all of you who continue to email us. And please continue to do that. Info at AuroraDayConsulting.com. Now, Francesca emailed to ask, and she gave me a little bit of a chuckle. She's asking how it is she fires a member of her LLC. And she goes on to say that she has depended on this young lady to uh, do presentation. She says that she's, she's a better presenter, she's stronger, uh, she's a little bit more knowledgeable. Whatever her expertise is, Francesca is saying she, she likes to have that. However, recently this young lady decided to become involved with a married man. And I'm guessing, Francesca, that you're, you're putting the emphasis on a married man because this is something that you are not in agreement with. It doesn't, it, it, you know, it's not harmonious for you. And I understand that. Okay, so you're saying that since she has been involved with this married man, she has not shown up. She has not been dependable. She has not... Uh, come to certain meetings you're saying and she has just not been fulfilling her part of this arrangement that you have okay so for everyone here in the community you know I read the email and then I have to ask Francesca for the documents I asked her for the documentation show me where it is that you have this young lady listed as a member of your limited liability company now there are some there are some pros and some cons there's some good and some bad things going on some things that are actually going to work in your favor Francesca because as I'm looking at your documentation I am not really seeing and this is not a really seeing, it's what I'm not seeing, okay? This is supposed to be an operating agreement, but I cannot tell whether this is a member managed or a manager managed operating agreement. That's number one, because there's no, there's nothing here telling me what it is really. I'm seeing here, you have listed some things that you are doing. And here's the one thing that I do appreciate and I do like about this agreement that you have. You, you have clearly stated what you have brought to the table as it relates to the monies. You've got the monies down here. Uh, you've even got the intellectual property, things that you have created. I do see that you have a copyright and I told you in the email that you need to um, correct some, there's some things that need to be corrected with that, okay? Uh, and here, here, here's what I'm not seeing also. I'm not seeing this young lady listed as a member. You don't really have any members listed. So I'm, I'm under the impression that you're, you're asking this question because you understand that the LLC has memberships, okay? But I'm not really seeing where this person comes in. I see her name listed and you're saying that she is a presenter but I'm not seeing where she is a member. So maybe you're really trying to inquire as to how it is you release this woman from whatever duties you have depended on her to provide. So here's what I wanna answer for everyone here in the Secured Entrepreneur community. If in fact you get into something with, with another individual or you, you establish memberships, okay? This is the procedure for removing a member from your limited liability company. First of all, you need to make it known to that member what your grievance is, okay? Why it is you're asking this person to remove themselves, okay? You're gonna give them the opportunity to remove themselves. Why? Because when you have a member, that means that the member has invested something. The member may have some form of interest, like a true interest, like they may have given you 15, 20, 30, 40,000 dollars, okay? Or, or there, is, there is some type of tangible property that this member has bought to the company and that member has the right to receive compensation, okay? So you first want to allow the member to understand that you are asking this, this individual to remove him or herself, okay? And then that individual, if they agree, they can give a formal letter of 
uh, resignation. It would be a letter of resignation. If that member decides that this is not happening, I have put my blood, sweat, and tears in this company, We're, you know, this is profitable, I'm not going, then there is a voting procedure where the other members now come in and take a vote and they say, okay, we want to vote this person off the island, <laughs> okay? And then that vote would have to stand and once again, that member is entitled to compensation of whatever interest that person has coming to them. Now, in this uh, agreement that you have, Francesca, there is no provision for removing a member. So if this woman was a member, you don't, you, you have nothing to say about how you're going to remove a member. That's a problem. So you have to really, for everyone here in the community, when you're doing these operating agreements, you know, don't just go online and get these um, organic agreements. You know, you have to create a true operating agreement that speaks to your current business, okay? So Francesca, I am not seeing where you have made a provision to remove a member, okay? So number one, the young lady is not a member. Number two, if she was a member, you don't have any provisions here for removing a member. Now what you know you all understand or you should understand because i've said this many times the limited liability company is not federally recognized so if in fact you, you you're having this issue with a member you don't have any you don't have a true operating agreement you don't have any uh, provisions for removing a member and um, you don't have a voting procedure you don't have a voting procedure listed on your operating agreement then it would fall to state statute now there is something called the Uniform Limited Liability Act, and it has only been enacted in 14 states. The last time I checked, 14 states. So you would have to see if your state even has this, you know, uh, enactment, uh, okay, to to move forward with that. All right. So I want all of you to be very careful as to whom it is you uh, get into a business with. Okay. Now this is where this conversation is about to get a little um, sensitive. Okay, and this is based off of Francesca's email. Now, Francesca, and for, and for all of you here in the community, if you are a person with integrity, if you, if you deem yourself to be a person with integrity and you've got great character, you cannot get involved with another individual whom you can clearly see does not have any integrity, uh, does not have good character. They may be talented, they may actually possess the expertise that you need to make your business go, but you have to make a judgment call. How dangerous is this for me? Okay, how energetically dangerous is this for me to intertwine myself with this person? Because we all know that if something if something were to happen, you know, everyone is involved in this investigation. Everyone's going to have to answer, well, did you know? Did you see? Were you there? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And for uh, what you're saying, Francesca, to point out, she decided to get involved with a married man. Now, you have to really question this person's integrity, how they feel about themselves. Do they love themselves? Do they feel like they're worthy? Okay. All, all of this is a reflection of how she's going to be in business, okay? Because clearly you view this as some form of a, you know, underhanded, you know, thing where it, it's not moralistic for you. It doesn't line up with your values, okay? Now, this is not judging any woman who's out here involved with a married man or anything like that. However, even Miss Aurora, you know, if, if, if I'm working with someone and they start telling me this, now I'm, I'm about to give you the side eye. I mean, this is a side eye situation because now I'm trying, I'm going to think now, you know, how do I feel this person's going to treat me? If this person is okay with this whole betrayal, sneaking around, you know, uh, and just being deceitful. I'm, 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 I'm gonna have, you know, there's some stuff there. There's some stuff there that I'm, I'm going to be questioning. So for the ladies, please, okay, be mindful. If you are not sharing the same type of habits, you know, uh, like recently, you know, I stayed with someone who drank and who smoked. I don't drink till, till I'm drunk, dead in the floor. Now, I did that in the past. You know, Mr. Forum was, you know, I did that. <laughs> and most of, most of us have gotten drunk and fell all out on the floor and all that. You know, I did that in the past. So recently, you know, this individual did that. Got drunk all the time, 
a, a, a high or for I don't know what, you know, that does not align with me. That's not anything that I do. So we can't hang out. We can't, we're not going any, we're not getting anywhere together because I don't do what you do, okay? That's not okay with me, all right? And I'm not bringing that into my business. Once I see that you've got these habits, okay, we're not going to do business together. So I understand what you're saying, Francesca, that, you know, she may be, you know, good and all this stuff like this here, but now you're saying you need to separate yourself. And I would advise everyone here in the community, if in fact you are having these issues in business with other people who don't line up with you morally, it is time to make the disconnection because I'll tell you this, it, energetically you'll you will start to feel things your business will start to you know get a little lopsided you'll be sitting there wondering you know well this was going great until this you know you'll start to notice this was this was all fine and good until this person came along this was all fine and good until this person started dabbling in this and that and bringing this over here and now we're having these issues that's a very 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 real thing so please everyone here in the community just be mindful of you know who you're getting in the bed with, okay? <laughs> I hate to say that, okay? So, you know, thank you, Francesca. And, you know, let's let's talk this week about how we're going to actually get a, a true operating agreement together for you and for all of you here in the Secured Entrepreneur community. You all know that Mr. Roar will help you get that right. So you can go down below. If you're watching this video on YouTube, you can go down below and click that link for the free consultation so we can talk about what's going on with you. If you're here on Facebook, the links would be uh, above. But you all know that I am Aurora Day and you can visit me at auroradayconsulting.com. And until next time.